Today it's all about Android Auto. So I will show you how I use Android Auto, how it is, the layout, what can be configured and how it works together with the XPeng infotainment system. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Hugo and this is the XPeng G6 Diaries. If you are new to this channel, I do publish here a lot of videos about my transition from an ICE car to an EV, but mainly with my XPeng G6 that I got in the beginning of the year. So if you like this type of content, just consider subscribing and of course activate that bell over there so that you are notified about new videos. So as I said in the beginning today, I will show you how Android Auto works inside the XPeng G6, what we can do with it, how to activate, how to remove it or go to the infotainment based system and how to configure it. So let's go. So the first thing that you need to make sure that it's happening is the connection to the car via Bluetooth. So you need to make sure that you have Android Auto installed in your mobile phone and you have Bluetooth connected. Let's go here and you can see here that I have two phones connected uh, or paired with this car over Bluetooth and mine is this Galaxy S25 that it's connected to call audio and I have it defined as frequent. So you can define this as a frequent use device so that this, this device has a priority when connecting to the car. And in this way, I have the car connected for uh, audio, uh, for mobile, and also, as you can see here, Android Auto. So you need to make sure that this is happening. So if you have your mobile phone connected to the car correctly, you will get this pop-up every time that you enter in the car and a connection to Android Auto is made. You will get this type of message and then you can just click here on Go To or Not Now. If you click on Go To, it will open immediately Android Auto. Some other ways to launch Android Auto is going to the app drawer and you will have here Android Auto and Apple CarPlay next to each other and you just need to click on Android Auto to launch it again. Also you can define Android Auto as a shortcut here on your taskbar, on the X bar, you can get uh, Android Auto from the list of um, available apps and you can put it here. So let me put back Android Auto here, okay, you can just drag and put on your taskbar, the Android Auto shortcut. Very easy. Another way to launch Android Auto is with the Assistant. So if you click once on the button of the Assistant, you will see XPeng Assistant coming out, but if you long press, you will see then Android Auto also launching. Let's try it one time. I am just disconnecting and now I will long press. And you see that Android Auto is launched and Assistant is here reading everything that I say. You can see it here. Now to conclude the launch and relaunch of the Android Auto, let me show you also what we can do to navigate between Android Auto and the base system of the XPeng. So for instance, if you just use three fingers here on the screen, you can just take down the uh, app that it's currently being used. And this is a way to minimize and put Android Auto on the background. To launch it again, you just need to click here again on the button, okay? Also, there are some other ways to access the infotainment system of the XPeng. If you just scroll up here on the bottom part, you will see that the bottom bar and also the information on top will appear. And as you can see now, you can just use your finger to move uh, on, on the AC, for instance, or access any other app that you want. Okay, so this is another way to move between the infotainment system and the XPeng uh, and the Android Auto app. Also, as you probably know, there is here an app inside the uh, Android Auto. So if you click here, you will see that we have an app called XPeng that if you click on it, it will move and minimize Android Auto and you will be, get back to the infotainment system of XPeng. So as you can see, it is very easy to go between infotainment and also Android Auto. Also, if you swipe 
down from the top, you will have access also to the shortcuts that you have in the car very easily. And then you can just go up again and you have here the, uh, bat, the app bottom bar and you can just click on the screen and you get also Android Auto again. So unfortunately, Android Auto works as a full screen app, so there is no way to uh, make anything here. So you cannot have Android Auto only on one part of the screen. So now let me show you the interface of Android Auto in my car. So basically you have here on the top left corner of the uh, system, you have the 5G indication, so the network indication, battery status, the day, um, the time of the day, and then you have here a uh, notification. In this case, these notifications uh, shows that I have my phone on the not disturb option. And if you click here, you will go to the notifications bar. So if you have more than one notification, it will show up here a balloon with the number of notifications that you have currently. Also, Android Auto now works with split screen. So as you can see now, I have Spotify on this part of the screen and also the um, Waze app uh, in the small part of the screen. To change between them, you just need to click on the part that you want to be the main part. So now I have changed to Spotify on the small part and um, the ways on the big part. If I click here again, it will change again. So in some apps, you can also um, change the way that the system works. So instead of having a split screen, for instance, on ways, so let's go here for ways. You have it on split screen, but if you click it again, you have the ways on one full screen only. So you can have uh, navigation with two screens or just one. So this is the main interface as I so show you and now you can see here also the last used app. So Android Auto will show you the last four used apps here so that you can easily access them without any disturbance. So if you click here on Spotify, in this case it will just change the screens and the same applies to Waze. If you click or double click it will show you full screen or split it and if you go to the um, phone here it will show you the phone also okay and finally you have here a button that it's for the assistant um, to activate the assistant so you have again two options to activate the assistant you can click or better three options in this case you can click here nothing cancel no worries so this is one of the ways. The second way is just with the wake word that I cannot use right now because I am recording with my phone. You can also activate the assistant as I show you before, long pressing here. Show me the news. I can't find news on Spotify, but you can ask me to play it on one of your other apps. You could see that the message that was showing here was in Portuguese, but I talked with uh, the assistant in English because in my case, I have Google Assistant in both languages. Let me show you that he, um, the Google Assistant can identify the language that I am speaking and then returns back with that information in that language. Let's try, for instance, the weather for today um, in Portuguese and in English so that you can see the difference. Qual o tempo agora? Neste momento, estão 18 graus e céu nublado em Lisboa. No hoje, vai estar céu nublado com máximas de 20 graus e mínimas de 16 graus. How's the weather? Currently in Lisbon, it's 18 degrees and cloudy. Today, it'll be cloudy, with a forecasted high of 20 and a low of 16. Okay, so as you can see, um, the assistant recognizes the voice, the language that I am speaking with, and then returns back the answer in that language. Finally, let's show the app drawer. So here you have the button here that you can just press. Pressing here, it will open the app drawer of the uh, Android Auto. Here you have the old apps that you have installed in your mobile phone and are supported by Android Auto, we'll show here. Of course, that you can customize which apps you want to be shown here. You can have here on the customize, if you click here, it will open immediately the Android Auto uh, app in your phone and then you can 
customize all that information. I will show you later on in the video how to do that. Let me just, I will not go in details on the apps that I have here because this will depend and vary uh, on each phone. But let me just show you two things that you can do also with Android Auto, that is creating shortcuts for calls. And here you can see that this is a Google Assistant shortcut. Let me just show you how this works. Sporting Lisbon will play the AC Marinhans on November 22nd at 6 p.m. So you can see that you don't even hear the command. The command is immediately sent and you only get the answer. Let's go now for the settings on the Android Auto. Let me just search here for Android Auto. It will show here. And we go to Android Auto here. And then we have then the settings of the Android Auto. So you can see that it's currently connected wirelessly to the car. You can see here Guangzhou Chaoping Motors technology. And now you can see that we have Start Android Auto automatically here, as always. Start Android Auto while locked. You can start music automatically. Then on the display, you can customize the launcher. So let's go here. And here, as you can see, you have a lot of the apps that are existing in your phone that are supported with Android Auto. And you can just come here and say that you don't have, you don't want the calendar, you don't want, want uh, game snacks, you don't want messenger, you don't want reminder, you don't want smart things, etc. On the next time that you launch Android Auto on your car, these apps will be hidden. Okay, so let's go again here, taskbar widgets. So if you want quick controls for the apps or not, you can disable or enable toggling here. Then you have the A Google detection, uh, manage, manage your digital assistant. So here you can define all the de definitions of the assistant. Um, and here you can even select if it is going to be Google assistant or Gemini answering to you. Then you have day night mode for maps. Also, it's automatic. And then you have also the definitions for the messages. Then you have then the definition where the driver is and the layout that navigation is closer to drivers. Then, as I uh, told you before, you can add shortcuts to the launcher here. So, so guys, this is it. This is, was the video that I wanted to do just to show you how Android Auto works inside the XPeng. It's very simple. Uh, it's very uh, common. It's more or less the same that it will work in most of other cars. Um, and that's it, guys. So, so let me know if you use Android Auto in your car and how you use it. I do use it mostly on backgrounds um, for some info coming from Waze and also for the assistant uh, information. But I do go to Android Auto a couple of times if I have that need. So guys, let me know. And um, thank you very much again for being here with me, for watching my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.